Dun, 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 dun. What's up guys, MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'm delivering you another video in our mini series on how to build an online course in Wix. Today we are going to explore once someone purchases a course from you, how do they get access to only those course pages? Before we do that, if you haven't yet joined our Wix Nation community, collectively, we would love to see you in it. And it all starts by clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on. You'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. Who doesn't want to be part of that? Hey, I know you're ready to jump into the content. I'm ready to deliver. So without further ado, let's jump in to today's video. <laughs> All right, guys, so you're actually going to thank me for this one because this video is not going to take up a large sum of your time. In fact, what I'm about to show you is going to be very easy to implement for you. You're going to start in the editor. We've already got our course built out. If you haven't followed our mini series, I'll go ahead and link it in the card above, and it's a full playlist. It shows you how to get caught up to speed with where we're at right now. I recommend you watch it if you're watching this video for the first time. But if you're caught up to speed, you've already got your course built out, and you've got maybe different course pages. You've got your database built. You've got your repeaters set up. Um, now what I'm going to show you that I've been getting a question about is, okay, I've got my course built out. Somebody purchases my course and they want to access the course. However, I've got multiple courses that I offer. How do I make sure that they only access the course they purchased? Here's how you're going to do that. If you go up to the menus and pages up here, the page manager, let's just say we're over here at site menu and let's just say we add a course page. Okay. We're just going to call this course, right? So we've got our course page right here and we're just going to pretend like we had all of our content on this page. Now you guys already have all of your course pages built out and I'm assuming that you have built out separate pages for each of your separate courses. And if you haven't, I highly recommend you do so. Otherwise, you're going to run into an extreme roadblock and you're going to see why right here. So you've got your course pages built out for all of your separate courses. Maybe you've only got one page and then a bunch of dynamic pages and that's fine too. But what you're going to do is once you've got your page assigned and you're like, okay, this page is assigned with this course, you're going to come in here. You're going to click these three little buttons. You're going to click settings, and then you're going to go over here to permissions, okay? And once you're here, you're going to click members only. Now, you've got members only. What this means already is that only people that are registered on your site can access this page. That's good, but that's not good enough, right? We want people who are members, but also who have paid for this particular course. Here's how we accomplish that. Once we click members only, we're going to scroll down and we're going to click only selected members or paying customers. And then we're going to click that from this point, you can choose either a member role. And if you've set up custom membership roles, like there's different mem membership tiers, maybe and each tier has a different role and access. You can assign those roles right here and you would apply them right now. This shows that always admins will be able to access this page. However, here's the part you need to know select from your pricing plans. So you remember have built out your course and you use the paid plans app and you either built out a one-time payment or some type of payment plan. And you can come in here and select out of those courses, which people get access. So if you remember correctly, we used the single pay example for a course. So we would click single play, pay, press apply. And now essentially what we just did is we said that people who are members on our site and that have bought our course using the single pay uh, system are the only people that will be able to access this page in particular. What this does is this detracts anybody from getting access who shouldn't have access, who did not purchase that particular course. And you would do this on all of your course pages, depending on how many pages you have for your course. And you would do this on each course 
if you have multiple courses. And that's how that works. And so that'll detract anybody who hasn't paid for this course. And it's that simple and it's that clear. And then if someone has not paid and they do try to access this, it will prompt them to purchase access and become a member in order to actually access this page. So that's also really nice because you've got that double layer protection uh, and it ensures that people that might have paid for another course but not this one aren't just going to automatically get access to this course because this page is off limits to that person unless they purchase it. And it's truly just that simple. Congratulations. If you made it to this point in the video, I like to call this the watch till the end club. And that means you watch the video till completion. And I want you to comment down below so I can personally congratulate you and say, I watched until the end. And of course, if you've got any questions, comment below as well. And that is a very exclusive right to be able to say that because you stuck around, you watched it, and you got the value you needed. And if it was good value, I would kindly ask that you drop a like down below. And collectively, as a community, we want you to be part of our Wix Nation tribe, our Wix Nation community. It all starts by hitting that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here on the channel. And you'll plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. We're interactive, we're engaging, and we would love you to be part of that. I look forward to seeing you in our community and active with everyone else in this incredible community. I appreciate you watching till the end and I am excited to continue delivering you some awesome Wix content. Until our next video, I'll catch you then.